In this video, we're going to do some drywall and a little bit of wiring. And we're going to do it right now. I'm going to do this drywall and wiring a little bit differently than I usually do. Usually when I do a remodel, I will gut the entire thing. I will take out all the old wiring. I'll insulate it, put new drywall back, tape, mud, sand, paint, and then I will hook up the finish wiring. But on this one, since it's so small, I only have a couple switches and wires. I am going to drywall and wire it basically at the same time. I still have these right here. This is my oil burner emergency shutoff switch. This old wire is gonna be replaced with this one that I ran down there. This is not hooked up yet. This is still live. And then right here, the switch is to the basement lights. That's still live, but it's gonna be replaced with this wire. So when I do these sheets right here, I'm gonna shut the breaker off, rip these out, do the sheet real quick, and then hook up the wiring. And then I can move on with the rest of this. I'm also adding a light here. For the most part, I think we're ready for drywall. So let's start with the ceiling. So I got four by eight foot sheets and wouldn't you know it, this width right here is like 49 and a half right here. So unfortunately, we're gonna do two pieces. That's just how it's gonna work out. And I'm gonna put my first piece right here. So it'll be four feet by 49 and a half. And then that way I'll have a seam right here and it'll be easier to tape and mud because I have my landing down here. So I'll cut one for here and there's a light going right here. I'm gonna measure center for that so I can cut it outside so I can eliminate as much mess as possible. Also, just as a little note, this is not enough to get a screw into. And this is kind of far away here. If this was a regular room, I would put a piece of strap in here. This is about the same distance on the other side. For this basement stairwell, I'm not really worried about it. I'm taking a couple liberties in this one, and this is one of them. We're gonna have a sheet going up on the wall anyways to hold that up. I don't think we'll get any cracking here anyways. Just a little note. If you never cut drywall before, really simple. I'm gonna mark 49 and a half. And then this one's actually at an angle. So I'm gonna mark 50 down here. Get a straight edge. This is actually a T made for drywall. And I'll hold it on that mark. Hold it on this mark. Just slice it. Okay, now you can pick it up and just break it. You can turn it around and cut the paper from the backside, or you can do it right from the front. And that's it. So I already have my center mark right here. I have my light. Here's the wire for my light. Tuck that up there. So this is exactly where I want it, in the center. So I'm gonna measure off of this wall, maybe 33 and a half, and then off of this wall, 25. 33 and a half, 25. 33 and a half, 25. That's center. This is the light that I'm putting in here. Six inch canless halo, ultra thin. There should be, should be a template. Is it in here? <gasps> yes. I'll cut a little hole right here so I can see my mark. Yay. My template here. Mark along the edge. Cut that out with my roto zip. And now I have a handle. Before I hang the sheet, 
want to make sure I know where my strapping is. I have my cordless drywall gun. I'm going to put a screw in here. Half of the time it falls out while I am getting the sheet up there, but we'll see what happens. So let's put this in place. It's probably be better with two people. I always tell you that, but I never have somebody helping me for whatever reason. Looking good. Too much. I have to set this properly. Too much. Check your gun before you do this. That can be frustrating. All right, I think I got it. Oh, if you look up, you'll notice a lot of screws. And that's because I didn't adjust my drywall gun before I did this, which I should have done, which I always do. And I don't know why I didn't here. Because I think to myself, oh, it's just a couple sheets, one little area. Should be all set from the last time. Don't be like me. Be smart. This is the cool thing about those lights is you can land right on a joist or even on a piece of strapping and you'll still be fine. Couldn't do that with old school lights, the can lights. this piece in. Mark the strapping. Gotta trim it a little bit. Right there, I gotta trim it. These walls are pretty far off. They bow in, they bow out. They're not square. We're gonna make it work. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do these sheets now and get all the wiring out of the way. I'm gonna go downstairs and run these as far as I can to where they're going. And then I will shut the power off. I'll cut these out, do the drywall, connect the switches and turn the power back on. And hopefully it'll be all set. So this is the wire coming from the switch that's going to go over to the first light in the basement run, just where the old switch goes to. I'm going to take these staples out here. These wires, whoa, <laughs> these wires are alive. Um, so I just want to be careful. They're in there very well. I'm, I'm replacing one of these, uh, but I also want to put strapping along here piece up like this and that's where both of the wires will go that's going up to the switch so that's the one we're going to get rid of so I'll start right here for now we're actually going to keep this one until I rewire everything in the basement so I'll just put a couple staples in this one, this old one. This is the wire that goes to the light. I just wanna put it up over this one. So these don't get too twisted. Make sure we have a clear path. It's gonna go up and over these pipes. And then it's gonna go that way, along with this wire that's gonna go to the firematic valve for the oil burner. And I just wanna get this wire run close to where it needs to be. I'm gonna go along this beam 
like this, and then it's going to go up in this bay and over to this light, which is the end of the run down here. I know there's plenty of other ways I could do this. Uh, I could have just run a wire to the switch itself, but I have plans for the future. So I'm going to cut this off the roll so I can go under all the other wires. Give myself plenty. staple back here and then it'll go whoop kind of like that i'm not going to get into a ton of detail about wiring because i believe that you need to be careful and you could do something pretty bad so i'm not going to be the guy to tell you what to do one more right here and then I'll do another staple when I actually hook that light up. Okay. So just to show you, these are live. This is the switch for the lights for the basement and for the new basement stairwell light. And then that is for the oil burner. Let's go shut those breakers off. Okay, furnace is off. And then... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. Now we know that they're off. You can test them with a different tester. Some people don't trust these, but I'm okay with it. All right. Let me get these out of the way. I just temporarily attached it. I'm also doing new switches, so I'm not worried about keeping these ones. So I'm gonna cut these right out of here. This one. You can see how this wire was run on top of the stud. That just was not gonna work for me. That was one reason I rewired this, but another one was to just have new wiring. This one's kind of old. Take out all the staples. There are any more. Try and keep that insulation in play. Okay. Now I'll go down and pull these down. Okay. Now one thing I want to do is do some fire barrier sealant. Block up any holes that go top to bottom, like that one. And I guess I'll do this one, even though it doesn't go all the way through. And this one over here. And any other ones, like where the light went up or anything that was left over from before. And there's a couple up here. Now I'm gonna fill this in with insulation. Measure for the sheet. Forty-nine and a half. Now I am gonna cut this box with the roto zip on the inside. It's just the easiest way. So I'm gonna to measure to the ceiling and go to about the middle, 28. And then we'll go from the side. 28 and 41 and a quarter. I'm gonna mark it on the sheet. 28, 41 and a quarter. Now I don't cut that out first. I'm gonna hang the sheet and then I'll cut it. Just mark all the studs. Obviously there's one in the corner. One there, 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 and one in the end. Now I want to get a couple screws in here, not near that box, because I could break the drywall as I cut it. So, so here, I don't want to go too deep and hit the wires. I just want to go deep enough, find the edge of the box, 
pull this out a little bit and then find the other edge and go around it. And it's better to go counterclockwise so the thing doesn't go all over the place. Here we go. Lost the box there for a minute right there. We're good. I'm just gonna put a couple more screws in here. I'm not gonna do the whole sheet, just because I want the wiring. I wanna make sure the wiring's good uh, before I go putting a thousand screws in here. So that's good for now. Let's do another sheet. the studs on the bottom here. Nice. Again, I don't want to screw too close to that box. Okay. I cut that box. I didn't mark this one because I can see it very clearly here. So this one, this box came out okay. The one up here, I went a little too deep, so I can get a, uh, a bump out for that. But for now, I'm just gonna hook the switch up so I know it's good to go. So I'm gonna start with this bottom one. And I'm just gonna look at the switch that was here before and wire it the same way. So take these screws out and take a look. Everything is gonna be wired up the same exact way it was. Okay. All right, let's go downstairs. And the final touch. Actually, the final touch will be put a staple in this. I'm hoping this one doesn't fall apart on me, but I did get a light just in case because I figured one of these might. And I think it's gonna be this one. I just got one that would match what we have there. Hey, this one has a ground. Isn't that neat? And I got a pull string with an outlet. Lights are hooked up. Let's turn that breaker on. Okay. I forgot. I gotta put that light in. Tighten that up there. OK. 
Okay. Flip the light. Definitely want to change this out soon. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. breaker on working we have a light I can't tell you how excited I am that there's a light here it's so much brighter now you can see a little better I would think so the electrical or the wiring is all set so now I know I can keep attaching this drywall so let's do that So this stud right here, this is for an old wall, uh, and this is the new wall, and when I built this, uh, it just didn't work out, it didn't line up, but I'm not going to cut this, what I'm going to do is just add a piece right here, and that'll bump that out, so I'll make this straight, somewhat straight, straight enough, so whatever this gap is, quarter inch, let's make some dust. I'm just going to throw this in with some, some pin nails and then the drywall screws will hold it in when I put the drywall on. I'm also going to measure out for this and cut the hole in the drywall before I even put it up there. Um, this can move around a little bit so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'll measure to the top, inch and a half, and then to this side, inch and a half and 19 and three quarters. Cutting it from the back side gives a much cleaner cut. I was just showing off earlier. Kind of cleaning this up as I go too. 19 and three quarters, the edge. Eighteen and three quarters, an inch and a half. And this is a an old work box, just like what's there. I'm gonna line that up, just like that. Should work. That's a pretty good fit. I do not recommend doing the bottom piece first. I find it to be harder. That's pretty good. So now I'm gonna take a pry bar and there's a little bit of a gap right here. So I'm just gonna put it in the bottom, close that gap up if I can. That's good. I'm gonna put a seam, butt seam, 
right here uh, because I don't want to waste these pieces. These measurements are awful. 49 and a half on some of these. So I use just over a uh, half a sheet. So I'm going to piece this together. So 32 inches right on that stud. I'll write that down, but I'm also going to measure out for this door because I'm going to cut that so I don't get dust all over the place. I'll cut that in the basement. I'm going to use my drywall saw cut this out. Less dust. And I can snap this. actually gonna put a seam right here because I'm gonna be taping this corner anyways so it's really not gonna matter being this close because I don't want to cut a piece 48 and three quarters and waste a sheet and I don't want to get 10 footers because I have a five and a half foot bed on my truck so I'm gonna cut this right here 45 and a half half on this and then I'll fill that piece in All right, so this insulation is pushing against this drywall quite a bit. So I'm going to have to compress it and try and get this drywall to be tight on these studs. this piece right in place a full sheet and then I'll cut this out uh, I just want to get an idea of where this stops right here so I don't put screws right here for no reason about 16 and a half I measure my piece 16 and a half ish I need to do this little area and I waited on this because I want to do insulation and I didn't want to put it in there and potentially have it fall out within an hour so I'm gonna put the insulation in and then I will drywall this now I'm not gonna waste this piece I'm gonna take it and use it for right here I think that'll compress when I put the drywall on there. Okay, do the other side. Now we can do this. I'm gonna do these side pieces first. And what I like to do with something like this is to draw a picture. So these are the easy ones. Straight here, straight here. This is square. And then I have up here, it goes like this and then drops down slightly. And then over here, 
come up a little bit and then I just connect those. So my piece is gonna look a little something like this. And then I take measurements. Okay, now we go cut it. I am a little short on drywall, but I'm gonna try and make this piece work. So it might be a little shy in some spots. I'm okay with that. I'd rather do that than go buy another sheet of drywall. Before I even put it up here, I know it's going to be short. I don't want to surprise myself. That's not bad. Especially because we have drywall going here and I have a piece going here. Okay, now we check, see if it's gonna work on the other side. Just like this, and the shorter on this side, but it'll work. Cool, that way we don't have to measure it again. We can just take this and mark it. There, now I can actually make it a little bit longer. Here. Now I'm gonna do corner bead, which is just like a metal piece that goes around here that you mud over. So we'll do nine and seven eighths, 32, three eighths, a little shy, 30. It's not perfect, got messed up in transport. Secure it with drywall nails. And just line this up so it's nice and even. Just want to make sure no metal is loose. That's kind of loose. It'll just give you trouble when you go to mud it. Now I can push this box in and tighten up these tabs. Don't have to go crazy. There you go. So we got all the new wiring run. I'm super pumped that I actually have a light in here. Finished up the sound and fire insulation. And what I also did was right here, I just filled in this uh, where the plywood was missing. Basically there was a wall there. So I filled it in with some plywood and I just did some wood filler quick and dirty because I'm just gonna end up painting this whole stairwell area. But the next thing to do is to tape and mud this whole thing, sand it, paint it, but that is for another video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you wanna see the ones that came before this, go ahead and check them out. If you wanna see the ones that come after this, check them out and any of my other videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Off to a rough start. Check, check, got sound. At least have that. Don't worry about it. It's gonna work.
twisted it. Whatever. Hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> yes, I am cleaning up as I go because I don't want to track this all over the house so that my wife goes, Did you do drywall today? Did you do drywall? Yeah, I did drywall. I'm doing the thing in it. Oh, because it's like white all over the floor. Yeah, I know. I did, I did drywall. And I stepped in it. And, oh, it's got white all over the floor. I love my wife. Sorry. Uh, that's probably her. It definitely is. Underneath the mistletoe. Check, check. What the f are you doing, Frosty? Trust me, I play a professional on YouTube. <laughs> trying to be cool. <laughs> That's what it always seems like anyways. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. That is not what I measured. Oh, you're never gonna see that. <laughs> it's not necessary, but it'll make it kind of nice, you know. Maybe I could cut this even, like a little Deer trim, kick blink, and then do, 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 ah. cut that and be like, nying, nying. Da, 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 da. nice baseboard door trim. Hey, is it soundproof? There's no hope with dope. Damn it. Oh, that was unfortunate. Ow! This is difficult. Yeah, my hand's numb. <sighs> exactly, 40, 45 and a half. That's just for you, Lauren. I'm just talking to you. That one, that one's gonna be I'm just talking to myself. Oh. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> just get some screws in it. it screws junk. Yes, it is the screw. You've never seen nothing like that. Never. Stop it. Stop dropping screws. You're right, Lauren. It is the screw. My back hates me. Shut up. I missed! Already? Did I not mark it properly? Oh my god. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Screwing <laughs> where somebody put a mark. It's not my mark. Are you kidding me? What? Way too much. What the hell? Oh my God, it's going the wrong way. Don't show any of this. D-A-N-A-N-A-S. Oh God. I'm gonna need that gun down there. Sorry. No. That's what it's saying. No, not today. Oh my God. Quay. Ah. <laughs> you. You didn't there. <laughs> you like what you see? Okay. Please cut. Can I even do this for a living anymore? What am I even doing? You just gotta look at it. I'm blaming it all on the angles of this, this tight quarters here. I have excuses for days, and that's one of them. Let's screw it off. Eh, screw off, will ya? Good start. Pretty sure there was a stud here, but I don't know where it is. Maybe I should use a me finder. <laughs> That's going over here. 